Slap my hand. Let's go! Mission accomplished! Team Fortress 2 is a really special game that allows you to change the default HUD to something else. Many games don't allow this and that is why people made crazy nice HUDs for TF2. But which HUD is the best for you? In today's video I went and looked at over 100 HUDs that were available and I played with them. I made a list which I believe to be the best ones out there. I will be sharing you my thoughts about them while showing you how they look like in game so you can decide which one is best for you. First up, we have Dune HUD. This is easily one of the most popular HUDs out there because it's one of the most customizable yet super easy to do so. Tunada has its own website which allows you to really make your own HUD. Currently I'm using my own custom Tune HUD which I absolutely love. You can change the colors, add custom crosshairs, modify all kinds of things really easily. It looks clean yet doesn't go far from how TFT looks. In my opinion Tune HUD is the first HUD you might want to check out. Its HUD layout is really nice and just being able to change color is enough for most of the people. For me, Tune HUD is best for crosshair customization. You can add a custom hit marker if that's your thing. Up on second, we have another fan favorite. Z's HUD. This is probably one of the most loud one. For obvious reasons, it looks extremely cool. Nothing like other HUDs. I believe it's Persona 5 style, tell me if I'm wrong. This HUD doesn't give a clean look if that's what you're going with. It's a more stylized. Nonetheless, this one is still one of the best ones. Also, Z's HUD has pretty nice customization options. Just a cherry on the top. For third, we have another one that is pretty famous. But HUD has a lot of customization and at default it looks pretty nice main menu looks very unique and modern looking in game many of the things are transparent HUD doesn't cover up the gameplay and overall it's a solid choice not only that you can update this HUD with a simple PowerShell executable automatically updating the HUD from github I love that kind of stuff if I wasn't using another HUD this would be the one I would go with next we have Mona HUD this is the HUD I have been using for a while so I might be a bit biased. It has an extremely nice warm black and white theme with dotted backgrounds. It feels so nice. Everything in this hut just feels right. Creator of this hut definitely put a lot of time into this. In game it does look a bit clunky but I still love this hut. It's really unique, not like the other ones you might find. If you want something more clean and competitive looking there are better options but that didn't hold me back from using mono HUD. At this point half of my comments were them asking what HUD I'm using. So yeah this one is the one I'm using. If you want something that is a bit more dark themed, I have flow HUD for you. This is very well done HUD, if I had imagined dark mode for TF2, this will be it. In game it looks pretty clean in my opinion, in a way it does look like the default HUD but with some nice transparency effects. Things do look a bit big, I mean the font size and stuff are definitely larger than the default. I kinda like that, so yeah it's pretty nice. Night HUD is completely themed around black and white. For some people it might hurt your eyes, this black and white style is definitely not for everyone. Especially the wallpaper at the background is in my opinion kinda hurts the eyes. Other than that I really like this one, in game it looks clean, the HUD's color changes depending on your team, easily indicating your team, it doesn't cover up your screen either. Really it kinda looks like Z's HUD, I don't exactly know why, anyways like I said this is a pretty decent HUD other than the main menu. If you ever wanted your game to look like Half-Life 2, I got you covered. Half-Life 2 HUD does an extremely well job of making your game look like it's Half-Life 2. Main menu is not exactly the best but in game it really really shows itself. The orange text and stuff just looks so nice. Half-Life 2 is already a brilliant game so why not use it as HUD? in TF2. Like others you got decent amount of transparency so the HUD doesn't get in your way. Even though this HUD might have been made as a meme, I can absolutely see some of you real loving this. If you wanna have something that looks more like the default HUD, you might wanna check out Cool HUD. It's definitely cool, adds nice effects over the default HUD. A lot of the stuff is the same which can be good if you're into the default HUD. Also Cool HUD has a decent amount of customization so you should check this one at yourself. Cute HUD which it does lives up to its name. It has this very cute looking font, 
stuff looks very clean and simple, how the elements look so nice. I don't exactly like the bottom left character model thingy, but could HUD also had some decent customization options that I couldn't check. Anyways, this HUD just shows how much the font matters. Combined with the rounded corners and soft shadows, this HUD is indeed very cute. If you like to use Discord on light theme, this HUD is for you. Blue and white colored HUD that looks pretty nice. Actually, I don't exactly like this one, I'm more of a dark theme person, but in my opinion, this was one of the best HUDs for a brighter theme. Everything just felt right. Maybe maybe the item menu is too bright. In game, like many others, it tries to be simple and transparent looking. Yep, that's good. So yeah, fellow bright theme lovers, you should check this one out. BX HUD is pretty similar to default, just adding transparency effects here and there. Overall making TF2 feel more modern. I don't exactly like this centered ammo and health thingy. For this one, I felt it was a bit too default, but again, it looks pretty nice and many of you people just wanted something that looks like the default one, so yeah. Void HUD is a dark and transparent theme HUD. I don't exactly like the background wallpaper, but other than that, I don't see anything bad about it either. Things are well placed and looks clean. I, I especially like the scoreboard. I uh, yeah, when I looked at like good 50 HUDs, it becomes hard to describe things because things can look be similar. Void HUD just does a good job at combining good things. 7 HUD is a very elegant looking HUD, May Mini has this cold looking wallpaper, but the texts are kinda too small for my liking. In game, it does look very clean and simple, doesn't get in your way. I don't exactly like this HUD, but, but still, I think it, some of you might like it. That is why I'm keeping it here. Delhi HUD Noi. Delhi HUD New. No, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> new. Something like that. It's a HUD that looks bad on May Mini, but gorgeous in the game. I seriously like how this one looks. But the main mini, I don't know if they even tried to make it look good. So yeah, don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. Last but not the least, I kept the last one for the best, best one for the last. Just kidding. But still, Overwatch HUD is a faithful creation of Overwatch in TF2. If you're into how Overwatch looks, yet wanna play TF2 at the end, this might be for you. And that was all, I tried well over 50 more or more HUDs and these were good and unique in their ways. I hope you find the HUD you might like. Personally, I will keep rocking with Mona HUD, there were definitely contenders that I generally thought it looked better. Again, I didn't cover all available HUDs. So leave a comment which one you think is the best one. Make sure you also like the video, see ya in the next video, bye.